Chapter 1. A Star is Born. In the peaceful village of Smiljan, Croatia, on a stormy July night in 1856, a brilliant light entered the world. Amidst the relentless rumble of thunder and the electrifying flash of lightning, a baby boy was born. His parents named him Nikola Tesla. Little did they know, this baby was destined to become a shining star in the realm of science. Smiljan was a modest place, nestled among rolling hills and serene landscapes. The villagers worked hard, farming and tending to livestock, living a life dictated by the rhythms of nature. Nicholas' family was no different. His father, Milutin, was a priest in the Serbian Orthodox Church, while his mother, Juka, was a hard-working woman who, despite her lack of formal education, possessed an inventive mind. The young Nikola spent his childhood immersed in the raw beauty of nature. He helped with family chores, explored the surrounding woods, and played with his siblings. Yet, even in these early years, there was something unique about him. Nikola showed an intense curiosity for the world around him. He would observe the birds, intrigued by their ability to fly. He would watch the streams, captivated by the force of the flowing water. He loved to stargaze, mesmerized by the twinkling lights against the night sky. But what fascinated him most were the thunderstorms. The bright flashes of lightning and the booming sound of thunder made his heart race with excitement and wonder. Perhaps it was these early encounters with nature's energy that sparked his later interest in electricity. His mother, Juka, was a significant influence on young Nikola. She was skilled at crafting household items, from simple tools to intricate looms. Nikola watched in awe as she turned raw materials into useful objects. This exposure to ingenuity planted the seed of invention in his mind. One peculiar characteristic that set Nikola apart was his vivid imagination. From a young age, he possessed the extraordinary ability to visualize ideas with stunning clarity. He would often be seen gazing into the distance, lost in his vivid daydreams. These intense imaginings, which he referred to as visions, would later play a critical role in his scientific discoveries. Thus, in the quiet village of Smiljan, the groundwork was laid for the extraordinary life of Nikola Tesla. The interplay of his rural upbringing, early fascination with nature's forces, and his vivid imagination all painted the first strokes of this remarkable life portrait, a life that was set to change the world, one invention at a time. As Nikola Tesla grew, so did his fascination with the natural world and the mysteries it held. Often, he would spend hours immersed in nature. The musings of his curious mind echoed in the whispers of the wind, the gurgling of the brooks, and the rustling of the leaves. Every sunset was a painting, every bird's flight a marvel, every thunderstorm a spectacle of raw power. In every phenomenon, young Tesla saw questions begging to be answered. One incident in particular sparked his interest in the forces that govern our world. One day, while stroking the family's cat, Macaque, in the dry winter air, he saw sparks jump from his hand, the cat's fur. Startled and intrigued by this mysterious event, Nikola asked his father, Why does Macaque spark in the dark? Milutin, with his faith-rooted worldview, answered, It's God's power in action. But for the budding mind of Nikola, this wasn't enough. He yearned to understand the underlying principles that made the sparks fly. This was his first brush with electricity, a force that would become the center of his life's work. Tesla's mother, Juka, also played a crucial role in kindling his scientific curiosity. Despite being illiterate, she was incredibly inventive, often building household appliances from scratch. Watching her, Nikola began to understand that objects were not just things to be used, but intricate puzzles to be solved and perhaps 
even improved upon. Her ability to weave intricate designs into cloth with the loom was mirrored in the young Tesla's growing ability to weave together scientific concepts in his mind. It was during these formative years that Nikola began to exhibit signs of his unusual mental abilities. He found he could visualize objects and scenes with stunning clarity, manipulating them in his mind down to the minutest detail. This mind laboratory became the birthplace of many of his brilliant ideas and inventions. Tesla's childhood also saw him voraciously consuming books, fueling his interest in science and invention. His father, who initially wanted Nikola to join the priesthood, saw the burning passion in his son's eyes and allowed him access to his extensive library. Nikola read all he could about physics, mathematics, and mechanics. He devoured the works of great scientists, inventors, and explorers, envisioning himself among them. And so, in the humble surroundings of Smiljan, the spark ignited in Tesla, a spark that would grow into a blazing passion for understanding and harnessing the powers of the universe. The stage was set for Tesla to step into the realm of science and etch his name in the annals of history. In the heart of young Nikola Tesla, two powers converged, the thirst for knowledge and an extraordinary imagination. This combination gave birth to a unique gift that set him apart from his contemporaries. It was a kind of mental acrobatics that allowed him to create, test, and refine his inventions all within the boundless laboratory of his mind. While other children played games in the sun-soaked streets of Smiljan, Nikola often found solace in the quiet corners of his mind. To onlookers, it may have seemed that he was simply daydreaming. However, what was happening inside Tesla's head was far from ordinary. It was there, in the sanctuary of his mind, that he was assembling and disassembling complex mechanisms, all without laying a hand on a single physical tool. The vividness of these mental images was so strong that Nikola sometimes had trouble distinguishing them from physical objects. He would reach out to touch these imagined creations, only to find his hand passing through thin air. Even at a young age, Nikola learned to harness this ability, manipulating his mental images to experiment with his ideas and unravel the mysteries that puzzled his curious mind. This remarkable skill of vivid visualization and mental experimentation became an invaluable tool for Tesla. Before he stepped into a physical laboratory, before he drew up a blueprint, before he touched a screw or a wire, his inventions were built, tested, and perfected in his mind. It was this mental prowess that allowed him to see the designs of his inventions in full working detail and hear the humming of his motors long before they existed in reality. His extraordinary imagination also fueled his love for literature, poetry, and languages. Tesla found that he could live out the adventures in the books he read, feel the emotions in the poetry he devoured, and explore the cultures hidden within the languages he studied. These mental excursions not only entertained him, but also nourished his inventive mind, providing diverse perspectives that enriched his understanding of the world. Nikola Tesla's gift of imagination was indeed a double-edged sword. While it allowed him to pioneer scientific advancements, it also led him to lead a life of solitude, often misunderstood by those around him. Nevertheless, this same gift would help Tesla reshape the world, powering his dreams and lighting the path to a future that, at the time, only he could see. Chapter 2. Education and Enlightenment The year was 1875. Nikola Tesla, now a young man, left his quiet life in Smiljan behind, carrying with him his dreams and a thirst for knowledge. His journey took him to the city of Graz in Austria, where he was admitted to the Graz University of Technology. He was stepping into a new chapter of his life, 
ready to dive into the world of higher learning and refine his understanding of the natural sciences. Graz, with its architectural elegance and vibrant academic culture, was a stark contrast to the rural tranquility of Smilgen. For Tesla, it was a leap from the familiar into the unknown. He found himself surrounded by a wealth of knowledge and a multitude of minds eager to learn and innovate. The excitement was palpable. At university, Tesla stood out among his peers. He had an unparalleled work ethic, often studying from dawn to midnight. His professors marveled at his ability to perform complex calculations in his head, a feat that made slide rulers and other calculation tools redundant for him. However, while studying at Graz, Tesla was introduced to a technology that frustrated him, the direct current, DC, electrical systems. He learned that these systems were inefficient, losing much energy due to resistance and only capable of transmitting power over short distances. Seeing this, Tesla was dumbfounded. Why would scientists accept such limitations when there was a whole world waiting to be illuminated? His frustration peaked during a lecture when his professor demonstrated a Gram Dynamo, a type of electric generator that could be used as both a motor and a dynamo. The device sparked and sputtered inefficiently, showing the inadequacy of direct current. Despite his professor's dismissal of the possibility of a better alternative, Tesla was consumed with the idea of finding a solution. In his mind's eye, Tesla saw a different version of the Gram Dynamo, one that operated smoothly, efficiently, and didn't rely on the flawed direct current system. In his mind's lab, he began to tinker with the design, creating, adjusting, and perfecting. But to turn his vision into reality, he had to defy the beliefs of his time. The spark that was lit in Smilgen and fanned in his solitary dreams now blazed stronger than ever in Graz. Little did Tesla know, this blaze would soon light up the world. His academic journey in Graz didn't just educate him. It was the catalyst that propelled him onto the path of revolutionary discoveries. The limitations of the direct current, DC electrical system, the one accepted by most scientists of Tesla's time, became an obstacle that Tesla was determined to overcome. The desire to find a solution consumed his thoughts, and he dedicated all his mental energy to this problem. It was on a sunny afternoon in Graz that the solution revealed itself to Tesla. He was walking with his friend, Antony Sigetti, in the city park. As they strolled, they recited verses from Goethe's Faust, a work Tesla admired for its exploration of man's pursuit of knowledge. As he uttered the lines, The glow retreats done is the day of toil, it yonder hastes, new fields of life exploring, a vision flashed before Tesla's eyes. In his mind, he saw a rotating magnetic field, a phenomenon he had been pondering for some time. It was like the pieces of an intricate puzzle falling into place. This was it, the solution to the problem that had been haunting him. Tesla saw the possibility of an electrical system that didn't depend on direct current, but used a new form, alternating current, AC. Unlike DC, which flows in one direction, alternating current changes, or alternates, its direction of flow. This alternating system could be used to produce a rotating magnetic field, the key to the efficient electric motor Tesla had visualized. This vision was a revelation to Tesla. It challenged the status quo and promised a solution to the problems inherent in the DC system. In his excitement, he picked up a stick and began drawing diagrams in the dirt, illustrating his concept to his bewildered friend. He explained how this system would allow electricity to be transmitted over long distances with minimal loss of power, something that was impossible with direct current. This moment marked a turning point in Tesla's life. 
It was an affirmation of his belief in the power of the mind, his conviction that imagination and scientific understanding could come together to create revolutionary ideas. From that day forward, Tesla devoted his life to bringing his vision of an alternating current system to life, even though it meant standing against the accepted scientific views of his time. Little did Tesla know that his revelation in Graz would ignite a battle of currents, a fight that would shake the course of technological history and revolutionize the world. His daring imagination and unwavering belief in his ideas were about to be put to the test in ways he could scarcely have imagined. With the revelation of the alternating current, AC system, Tesla found himself at a crossroads. He had conceived an idea that could revolutionize the world. But to bring this idea to life, he would need more than just his incredible imagination and theoretical knowledge. He needed practical experience, resources, and above all, support from the scientific community. However, support was the one thing Tesla found himself lacking. His professors at the Graz University of Technology remained skeptical of his AC concept. They were staunch supporters of the existing direct current, DC, system and dismissed Tesla's ideas as impractical fantasies. Tesla's fellow students, too, found it hard to comprehend his revolutionary ideas. He was increasingly viewed as a maverick, an eccentric outlier in the scientific community. Faced with this opposition, Tesla made a life-changing decision. He decided to leave the university without completing his degree. This was a risky move, a step away from the traditional path that most of his peers were following. However, Tesla believed in the potential of his ideas. He chose to listen to his inner voice over the discouraging voices around him. Departing from Graz, Tesla found himself grappling with uncertainty. He had taken the first step towards bringing his vision to life, but the path ahead was not clear. He was on his own in his fight for his innovative ideas. However, he was not deterred. He was determined to prove the potential of his AC system and change the world's understanding of electricity. This phase of Tesla's life was marked by struggle and isolation, but it was also a testament to his resilience. Despite the skepticism and dismissal he faced, Tesla never lost faith in his ideas. He had the courage to stand alone, to defy the norm, and to fight for his convictions. And so began Tesla's solitary struggle, a journey fraught with challenges, disappointments, and setbacks. Yet, it was this journey that would lead him to great scientific breakthroughs, reshaping the world as we know it. Unbeknownst to Tesla, he was stepping into a battle of currents, a battle that would light up the world. Chapter 3. Journey to the New World Leaving Graz and the promise of a traditional academic career behind, Tesla found himself on an uncertain path. His revolutionary ideas, though brilliant, were met with skepticism and dismissal. As Tesla navigated this challenging period, he took on various jobs across Europe, all the while continuing his research in electricity. During this time, Tesla experienced periods of intense hardship. There were moments of acute despair when he questioned his decisions and the feasibility of his dreams. He was often seen engrossed in thought, sketching diagrams in the air, his face etched with a mix of frustration and determination. He faced the harsh reality of being a visionary in a world not ready for his ideas. Despite the adversities, Tesla's resolve remained unshaken. His determination to actualize his concepts of an alternating current, AC system, pushed him forward. He continued to conduct experiments, refine his theories, and devise new inventions, fueled by his unyielding belief in his ideas. His life took a dramatic turn when he found employment at the Continental Edison Company in Paris. There, Tesla gained practical experience in electrical engineering, working on various Edison installations. 
His exceptional skill and inventive mind soon caught the attention of his superiors. However, Tesla felt that his ideas were still too advanced and revolutionary for the old continent. His work at the Edison Company further cemented his belief in the superiority of AC over DC, leading to his increasing dissatisfaction with the existing electrical technologies in Europe. He yearned for a place where his innovative ideas could flourish, a place that embraced change and progress. It was during this tumultuous period that Tesla heard of the wonders happening across the Atlantic, in a land renowned for innovation and opportunities, America. Tales of Thomas Edison's success with his inventions, especially his work on electric light, reached Tesla. Inspired by Edison's achievements, Tesla decided to venture to the new world. He believed that America, with its spirit of innovation and progress, could provide the fertile ground needed for his ideas to take root. Thus, Tesla, carrying his dreams and an introduction letter to Thomas Edison, embarked on a journey across the Atlantic. Little did he know that this journey would lead him not only to a new land, but also into an epic rivalry that would change the course of technological history. After a long journey across the Atlantic, Nikola Tesla set foot in New York City. He arrived carrying little more than a few personal items, his scientific knowledge, and an introduction letter to Thomas Edison from Charles Batchelor, a former associate of Edison. The letter famously read, I know two great men, and you are one of them. The other is this young man. Upon meeting Edison, Tesla was immediately hired and put to work, dealing with a range of electrical engineering problems in Edison's operations. It was here that the worlds of the two great inventors collided. Edison, the practical, hands-on inventor with little formal education, but with an astute business sense. And Tesla the scholarly, theoretical physicist with grand visions for the future of electricity. While Tesla initially admired Edison, he soon found his working relationship with the Wizard of Menlo Park fraught with difficulty. They had diverging views on the best methods for electrical power transmission. Edison was a staunch advocate of direct current, DC, while Tesla saw the future in his alternating current, AC system. A significant incident that strained their relationship was Tesla's work on redesigning Edison's inefficient motor and generators. Edison allegedly promised Tesla a large bonus if he could improve them. After months of tireless work, Tesla presented his solutions, only to have Edison shrug it off and refuse to pay the promised bonus. Edison allegedly told a devastated Tesla, You don't understand our American humor. Feeling undervalued and betrayed, Tesla quit working for Edison. This marked the end of his brief and tumultuous employment under Edison, setting the stage for their eventual rivalry, known as the War of the Currents. While this parting was fraught with disappointment for Tesla, it pushed him to forge his own path reinforcing his commitment to bring his alternating current system to the world. Though the dynamic New York City was a far cry from his humble beginnings in Smilgen, and despite the setbacks he faced, Tesla refused to give up. As he walked away from Edison's office that day, Tesla was not just an immigrant trying to make his mark in the new world. He was a man on a mission, a mission to illuminate the world in ways it had never seen before. With his departure from Edison's company, Tesla found himself once again facing an uncertain future. However, he was not deterred. Armed with his revolutionary ideas and undying perseverance, Tesla decided to form his own company, Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing. The company initially worked on developing improved arc lighting systems, a project which Tesla completed successfully. However, his investors showed little interest in Tesla's ambitious plans for an alternating current, AC system, 
considering it too risky and impractical. Eventually, they ousted Tesla from the company, leaving him penniless and in deep despair. This period of Tesla's life was incredibly difficult. He was forced to work as a ditch digger for a short time to make ends meet, a humbling experience for the brilliant inventor. Yet, even amidst the hardship, Tesla's resolve didn't waver. He continued to refine his alternating current system in his free time. He knew that his AC system was far superior to Edison's direct current, DC, and would revolutionize the world of electricity. Meanwhile, Edison viewed AC as a threat to his DC-based systems and businesses. As Tesla began to gain support for his AC system, Edison started a campaign to discredit alternating current, marking the beginning of the infamous War of the Currents. This campaign even involved publicly electrocuting animals to demonstrate the dangers of AC, a spectacle that horrified many but did little to halt the rise of alternating current. During this intense rivalry, Tesla faced numerous challenges. However, he didn't let these setbacks dampen his spirit. He remained steadfast in his commitment to prove the superiority of AC. He knew that his system was not just a solution for the problems of direct current, but a gateway to a future where electricity would become a cornerstone of society. This chapter of Tesla's life, though marred by struggles, marked a significant turning point in the history of electricity. The stage was set for the Battle of Currents, a battle that would shape the future of technology and forever imprint Nikola Tesla's name in the annals of scientific history. Little did Tesla know, his moment of triumph was not far away. Chapter 4. A Dream Realized after enduring a period of hardship and disappointment, Tesla's fortunes took a turn for the better in 1887. His unyielding spirit and revolutionary ideas caught the attention of a group of investors led by Alfred S. Brown, a director at Western Union, and Charles F. Peck, a lawyer. Recognizing the potential of Tesla's alternating current, AC system, they agreed to back Tesla in forming a new company, the Tesla Electric Company. This was a monumental moment in Tesla's life, a beacon of hope after the stormy period following his split from Edison's company. Tesla was ecstatic. He was finally getting a chance to bring his vision to life. The Tesla Electric Company was based in New York City, with Tesla as the head of research and development. It was here that Tesla got the opportunity to work on and perfect his AC system. His inventive mind was finally given free reign, and he filed several patents for his revolutionary AC motor and transformer designs. This period was incredibly productive for Tesla. His inventions started to gain recognition from the scientific community, and the advantages of his AC system over Edison's direct current became increasingly evident. The formation of Tesla Electric Company was more than just the establishment of a new venture. It was the embodiment of Tesla's dreams and perseverance. It was a testament to his unwavering belief in his ideas, even in the face of criticism and rejection. While Tesla was finally realizing his dream, he was unaware of the larger battle that was about to unfold. His AC system was about to go head-to-head -head with Edison's DC in an electrifying showdown. The War of the Currents was heating up, and the world was about to witness a technological revolution. With the birth of the Tesla Electric Company, Tesla's dream of creating an alternating current, AC system moved one step closer to becoming a reality. Now he had the backing he needed to experiment freely and perfect his revolutionary system. Tesla was brimming with excitement as he worked tirelessly in his laboratory, translating his mental blueprints into real working inventions. His AC induction motor, a device that converted electrical energy into mechanical energy, was a groundbreaking invention. 
Unlike the motors of the time, Tesla's motor was more efficient, safer, and capable of working with alternating current. Tesla didn't stop there. He went on to invent the Tesla coil, a device used to produce high-voltage, low-current, high-frequency alternating current electricity. He also developed transformers for the AC system, devices that could increase or decrease the voltage of an electric current, making long-distance transmission of electricity possible. By 1888, Tesla had obtained patents for his AC system. This marked a significant milestone in Tesla's career and the world of electricity. For the first time, efficient and economical generation, transmission, and use of electrical power over long distances were achievable. Tesla's dream was no longer just a vision in his mind, but a tangible reality changing the face of technology. News of Tesla's achievements began to spread. His work was showcased in various scientific conferences and exhibitions, garnering attention and awe from the scientific community and beyond. The AC system, once dismissed as impractical and dangerous, was now hailed as the future of electricity. The dawn of alternating current signaled the beginning of a new era in electrical power, but it also intensified the ongoing war of the currents. The battle lines were drawn. On one side stood Thomas Edison, defending his empire, built on direct current. On the other, Nikola Tesla, the underdog, championing the revolutionary alternating current. The world watched with bated breath as these two titans prepared to clash in an electrifying showdown. In 1893, Tesla's alternating current, AC system, faced its most significant test yet. The stage was the World's Columbian Exposition, also known as the Chicago World's Fair, a grand event dedicated to showcasing the latest achievements in science, technology, and culture from around the globe. Tesla's AC system had been chosen to power the entire exposition, beating Edison's direct current proposal. The selection marked a critical victory for Tesla in the War of the Currents. The event offered Tesla an unparalleled opportunity to demonstrate the superiority of alternating current to the world. The World's Fair was a spectacle like no other. Visitors were left awestruck as they walked amidst beautifully lit buildings and fountains, all powered by Tesla's AC system. The heart of the event was the electricity building, where Tesla's inventions were on display. The highlight of the display was Tesla's AC induction motor. Visitors watched in amazement as the motor, powered by Tesla's alternating current, operated with an efficiency and smoothness that no other electric motor of the time could match. Tesla also demonstrated his Tesla coil, creating spectacular displays of high-voltage sparks, captivating the audience and demonstrating the potential of his system. For Tesla, this was more than just a demonstration of his inventions. It was a statement. It marked the arrival of alternating current as the future of electric power. For the public, it was a mesmerizing introduction to a new era of electrical power. The World's Fair was a resounding success for Tesla. His alternating current system illuminated the fair with a dazzling display of electrical power, shattering doubts about the viability of AC and paving the way for its widespread adoption. The Chicago World's Fair marked a significant milestone in Tesla's career. His dream of revolutionizing the world with his AC system was no longer just a dream. It was becoming a reality. Tesla's perseverance and innovative spirit were finally paying off, and his star was rising in the scientific community. But the War of the Currents was far from over, and Tesla's most significant challenges were yet to come. Chapter 5. Beyond Electricity with the success of the alternating current, AC system, Tesla had made his mark in the realm of electrical power. 
but Tesla's insatiable curiosity and pioneering spirit pushed him to explore even further. He was not content with revolutionizing just one aspect of electricity. He wanted to understand and harness its full potential. In his quest to delve deeper into the mysteries of electricity, Tesla began to experiment with high-frequency currents. He believed these currents held the key to a host of new technological breakthroughs. Out of these experiments came one of Tesla's most famous inventions, the Tesla coil. The Tesla coil was a remarkable device capable of producing high-voltage, high-frequency alternating currents. At its core, the Tesla coil was a type of resonant transformer designed in such a way that it could generate extremely large voltages even with a small input. Tesla's experiments with the coil were nothing short of spectacular. He produced lightning-like sparks that crackled through his laboratory, illuminating the room with a bluish glow. The sight was breathtaking and a little terrifying, but Tesla was unfazed. He saw the beauty and potential in these electrical sparks. For Tesla, the coil was more than just a spectacular display of electricity. It was a tool that could be used for wireless transmission of electrical energy. He imagined a future where electricity could be transmitted without wires, lighting up homes, and powering machinery without the need for cumbersome and expensive power lines. The creation of the Tesla coil was a testament to Tesla's relentless curiosity and ingenuity. It was a symbol of his vision for the future, a future where the full potential of electricity was harnessed for the betterment of humanity. This chapter in Tesla's life was filled with wonder and discovery, but it was also fraught with challenges. Tesla's ideas were often met with skepticism and disbelief. Nevertheless, Tesla pressed on, driven by his belief in his inventions and his vision for the future. As Tesla pushed the boundaries of electrical science, his focus shifted towards a new frontier, wireless technology. He believed that electricity could do more than just power machines and light up homes. He saw the potential for electricity to transmit information, bridging distances, and bringing the world closer together. At the heart of this dream was Tesla's fascination with radio waves. These invisible waves, Tesla believed, could carry signals across vast distances without the need for wires. While many scientists of the day were skeptical, Tesla was convinced of the potential of radio wave technology. Using his Tesla coil, he began to experiment with transmitting and receiving radio signals. He devised an intricate system to generate, transmit, and receive these waves, pushing the boundaries of the known scientific world. Through these experiments, Tesla made significant contributions to the development of radio technology, despite facing stiff competition from other inventors like Guglielmo Marconi. In his pursuit of wireless technology, Tesla accomplished another remarkable feat, the invention of remote control. He developed a small boat that could be controlled wirelessly using radio waves, a technology that was nothing short of magical for the onlookers at Madison Square Garden, where he demonstrated it in 1898. The crowd watched in awe as Tesla maneuvered the boat without any visible connection, using a small box equipped with switches and levers. Tesla's demonstration of remote control was a revolutionary moment. For the first time, people saw the potential for controlling devices from a distance, opening a world of possibilities. From toys to military machines, the applications of this technology were limitless. With his ventures into radio wave technology and remote control, Tesla once again proved his genius and foresight. He was envisioning a wireless future long before most could comprehend its implications. His ideas were far ahead of his time, laying the groundwork for the wireless world we take for granted today. Tesla's advancements in radio wave technology did not go unnoticed. 
Among those closely following his work was a young Italian inventor, Guglielmo Marconi. Marconi was also experimenting with wireless communication, and his work was gaining significant attention in Europe. While Tesla had laid the groundwork for wireless transmission using radio waves, Marconi began making his own strides. In 1901, Marconi achieved a major milestone. He successfully transmitted a radio signal across the Atlantic, a feat that garnered him widespread acclaim. The world hailed Marconi as the inventor of radio, leaving Tesla in the shadows. Tesla was deeply aggrieved. He argued that Marconi's technology relied heavily on his own patented inventions. He even pointed out that Marconi's successful transatlantic transmission had used a Tesla oscillator. But Tesla's protests fell largely on deaf ears. Marconi's achievement had captured the public's imagination, and Tesla found himself sidelined. Despite the injustice, Tesla didn't have the financial means to wage a legal battle against Marconi. His own finances were dwindling, and his attempts to secure funding for his ambitious wireless power transmission project, the Wardenclyffe Tower, were meeting with little success. But Tesla remained steadfast. He continued his work, confident that his contributions to radio technology would one day be recognized. He once stated, let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Sadly, Tesla's vindication would come too late. It was not until 1943, a few months after Tesla's death, that the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in favor of Tesla's radio patents recognizing him as a true pioneer in radio technology. The clash with Marconi was a bitter pill to swallow for Tesla, but despite the disappointments and challenges he faced, Tesla remained committed to his work and his vision of a brighter, more connected future. His perseverance and dedication to his ideas were a testament to his extraordinary character and his unwavering belief and the power of scientific discovery. Chapter 6. Visionary or Mad Scientist Beyond his work on alternating current and radio waves, Tesla nurtured an even grander vision. He dreamt of a world where electricity could be transmitted wirelessly across great distances, illuminating the darkest corners of the earth. More than just a dream, he envisioned it as a means to uplift humanity providing free and accessible power to all. To realize this ambitious vision, Tesla planned the construction of a wireless power transmission station, the Wardenclyffe Tower. This giant structure, based in Shoreham, New York, was to be equipped with a massive Tesla coil capable of sending high-frequency electrical waves through the Earth's atmosphere. Tesla's plan was revolutionary, but it was also fraught with challenges. He needed a significant amount of funding to complete the Wardenclyffe project. Fortunately, the influential financier J.P. Morgan, intrigued by Tesla's vision, agreed to fund the project initially. Tesla's project progressed at a rapid pace with Morgan's support. He oversaw every aspect of the construction with meticulous care, determined to make his dream a reality. However, Tesla was secretive about the full scope of the project, not fully revealing to Morgan his plans for free wireless energy transmission. But as costs escalated and technical challenges mounted, Morgan's support waned. The final blow came when Marconi achieved his transatlantic radio transmission, a feat achieved with much less financial investment. The investors were skeptical about pouring more money into Tesla's project, and funding for the Wardenclyffe Tower dried up. Tesla's plan for wireless power transmission was met with both awe and skepticism. His audacious vision was far ahead of its time, pushing the boundaries of known science. To many, Tesla appeared more a mad scientist than a visionary. Yet, despite the criticism and financial woes, 
Tesla remained firm in his belief that wireless power was not only possible, but also the key to a brighter future for humanity. The construction of the Wardenclyffe Tower was an endeavor filled with promise and excitement. Rising high above the landscape of Shoreham, New York, the tower was an impressive spectacle. It was a testament to Tesla's grand vision and his unwavering belief in the potential of wireless power transmission. Under Tesla's watchful eye, the tower took shape. He was involved in every aspect of its construction, meticulously ensuring that each component was designed and installed according to his exacting standards. Despite the financial constraints and technical challenges, Tesla's enthusiasm never wavered. The tower was not merely a structure. It was the embodiment of Tesla's most ambitious dream. Tesla imagined it as the first of many such towers around the world, creating a global network of wireless power transmission. He saw a future where power could be harnessed from the natural world, transformed, and transmitted wirelessly to power homes, industries, and even vehicles. However, the tower was also Tesla's downfall. The cost of construction escalated far beyond the initial estimates, draining Tesla's resources. As delays mounted and results were not forthcoming, the once eager investors grew skeptical. The final blow came when financier J.P. Morgan withdrew his support. Without funding, Tesla was forced to abandon the project, leaving the tower as a silent, looming reminder of his failed dream. The collapse of the Wardenclyffe project was more than just a financial disaster for Tesla. It was a devastating personal blow. He had staked his reputation and all his resources on the project, only to see it crumble. However, even in the face of this setback, Tesla's spirit remained unbroken. He held on to his belief in the potential of wireless power, convinced that it was only a matter of time before his vision would be realized. This chapter in Tesla's life was marked by disappointment and financial ruin. Yet, it also showcased Tesla's incredible resolve and his unwavering commitment to his visionary ideas. Despite the world's skepticism, Tesla was neither deterred nor defeated. His vision for a world powered by wireless electricity lived on, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. After the failure of the Wardenclyffe project, Tesla's life took a melancholic turn. His financial situation deteriorated, leaving him unable to fund his research. His visions of grand inventions and future technologies remained unrealized, confined to the realm of his extraordinary mind. Tesla spent his final years in New York City, Living in a series of hotel rooms, his unpaid bills often covered by sympathizers or past benefactors. Despite his financial woes, Tesla's mind remained active, bursting with new ideas and possibilities. He continued to conceptualize inventions, sketching them on napkins or in the air with his fingers. He gave interviews, sharing his views on the future of technology ranging from solar energy to wireless power. As the years went by, Tesla increasingly faded from public view. His groundbreaking contributions to electricity were overshadowed by the likes of Edison and Marconi. His name, once synonymous with the future of power, was seldom mentioned. To many, Tesla appeared as an eccentric old man his rooms filled with stacks of papers detailing inventions that seemed more fantastical than feasible. But Tesla, undeterred by his obscurity, continued to dream. He held fast to his belief in the power of the human mind to innovate and change the world. Even as he faced the twilight of his life, Tesla never lost his conviction in the potential of his ideas. Tesla passed away in 1943, leaving behind a legacy of invention and imagination. He left no wealth, no hairs, but an invaluable treasure trove of ideas, some realized, others only dreamed. 
The final years of Tesla's life were marked by obscurity and hardship, a far cry from the dazzling promise of his early career. Yet, they offer a poignant testament to his indomitable spirit and unshaken belief in his visionary ideas. Tesla, the man who illuminated the world, may have faded into the shadows, but his dream of a better, brighter future never dimmed. His legacy continues to inspire inventors and dreamers, lighting the path for the innovators of tomorrow. Chapter 7 Legacy of a Dreamer On January 7, 1943, the world said goodbye to one of the greatest inventors of the modern era. Alone in his room at the New Yorker Hotel, Nikola Tesla breathed his last. With his passing, the world lost a brilliant mind and a visionary genius. Tesla's death marked the end of an era, the close of a life dedicated to understanding the mysteries of nature and harnessing them for the betterment of humanity. His passing was quiet, much like his presence in the later years of his life, but the echo of his ideas and inventions continued to reverberate, their impact undeniable and far-reaching. The news of Tesla's death, while not unexpected, was met with a sense of loss. Obituaries lauded his contributions to science and technology, with many acknowledging that his genius had not received the recognition it deserved during his lifetime. Tribute poured in from across the globe, with many lamenting the loss of a great mind whose full potential remained unrealized. Yet, Tesla did not leave the world empty-handed. He left behind a legacy of groundbreaking inventions, from the alternating current system that powers our homes to the Tesla coil and his pioneering work in radio wave technology. He also left a trove of ideas and theories, some of which continue to inspire scientists and inventors to this day. Tesla's death marked the end of his physical journey, but his spirit his relentless curiosity and his unwavering belief in the power of human imagination continue to live on. As we flick a switch to light our homes, tune into a radio station, or marvel at the wireless technologies that connect our world, we are reminded of Tesla's genius and his invaluable contributions to our modern world. His life may have ended, but his legacy lives on, illuminating the world he once dreamt of lighting wirelessly. In the immediate aftermath of Tesla's death, his legacy remained largely underappreciated. The world was quick to move on, and Tesla's name faded from public memory. But the genius of his work could not be obscured forever. As the 20th century progressed, there was a gradual rekindling of interest in Tesla's work. As our society became more and more dependent on electricity and wireless technology, it became clear that Tesla's ideas were not just fanciful dreams, but practical insights that were ahead of their time. This renewed interest in Tesla led to a deeper exploration of his life and work. Historians, scientists, and enthusiasts delved into the wealth of knowledge that Tesla had left behind in his patents notes, and interviews. The more they uncovered, the more they realized the depth and breadth of Tesla's contributions to science and technology. This recognition of Tesla's work culminated in several formal acknowledgments of his contributions. In 1960, the International Electrotechnical Commission named the unit of magnetic field strength after Tesla. The Tesla is now a standard unit in physics, immortalizing Tesla's name in the annals of scientific history. Moreover, in 1975, Tesla was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in the United States, a recognition of his groundbreaking work in electricity and electromagnetism. In the years since, numerous books, documentaries, and films have shed light on Tesla's life and work celebrating his genius and re-establishing his place in history. Today, Tesla is hailed as a pioneer, a visionary who revolutionized the way we generate, transmit, 
and use electricity. His inventions form the foundation of modern electrical power systems, and his ideas continue to inspire new generations of inventors and dreamers. Tesla's journey to recognition may have been long and fraught with challenges, but it serves as a reminder that true genius cannot be obscured forever. Even in death, Tesla continues to illuminate our world, his legacy living on in every light bulb that glows and every machine that hums with electrical power. As we reflect on the life and legacy of Nikola Tesla, we see a man who dared to dream beyond the boundaries of his time. A man whose genius and vision transformed our world in ways that still resonate today. Even more than a century after his most significant contributions, Tesla's work continues to shape our lives. Every time we switch on a light, charge a device, or listen to the radio, we experience the impact of Tesla's groundbreaking work in electricity and wireless communication. His concepts continue to inspire and fuel advancements in technology, from the electric cars named after him to the ongoing research in wireless power transmission. Yet, Tesla's legacy extends beyond his scientific achievements. He was a beacon of imagination and innovation, a testament to the power of curiosity and the human capacity to shape the future. His unyielding belief in his ideas, despite the skepticism and challenges he faced, serves as an inspiration for every dreamer who dares to think differently. Tesla's life was a blend of brilliance and struggle, vision and hardship. He died alone and penniless, his dreams of a wireless world largely unfulfilled. But he also lived a life filled with discovery, contributing to our understanding of the world in profound ways. In the end, Tesla's vision of a future powered by free, wireless electricity may not have come to fruition during his lifetime. But the dream lives on, carried forward by those who continue to explore the frontiers of science and technology. As we venture into this future, we carry with us the legacy of Nikola Tesla, a legacy of daring, dreaming, and relentless discovery. Tesla, the man, may no longer be with us, but Tesla, the legend, lives on. His spirit continues to light our way reminding us of the power of human ingenuity and the boundless possibilities of a curious mind. Chapter 8. The Magnetic Storm Tesla was not only a master of understanding the power of electricity, but he also held a deep fascination for the Earth's magnetic field. He believed that this invisible force could hold the key to a vast reservoir of untapped energy capable of powering the world. His vision extended beyond conventional thinking of his time, where others saw the Earth's magnetic field as a scientific curiosity. Tesla saw it as a potential source of limitless power. His inventive mind envisaged a future where this natural energy could be harnessed and used for mankind's benefit. To realize this vision, Tesla proposed innovative concepts that seemed straight out of science fiction. He theorized about creating artificial magnetic storms that could tap into the Earth's magnetic field. These storms, Tesla believed, could generate an enormous amount of electricity that could be captured and utilized. Tesla's concepts of harnessing the Earth's magnetic field were ambitious and groundbreaking. They pushed the boundaries of scientific understanding and offered tantalizing possibilities for the future of energy generation. However, like many of Tesla's revolutionary ideas, these theories were met with skepticism from the scientific community. The technology to realize Tesla's vision did not exist, and many considered his ideas as fantastical and far-fetched. Despite the skepticism, Tesla remained undeterred. He continued to explore his theories, hoping to one day harness the Earth's magnetic power. His dream of tapping into the Earth's magnetic field may have been ahead of his time, 
but it showcased Tesla's extraordinary ability to envision the future of energy generation. Tesla's pursuit of harnessing the Earth's magnetic power was yet another testament to his unwavering belief in human ingenuity and the potential to harness nature's power for the betterment of humanity. His dream of a world powered by natural, renewable sources continues to inspire scientists and inventors, guiding us towards a sustainable and electrifying future. In Tesla's mind, the future was bright and electrified. He envisioned a world where the limitations of conventional power sources were no more, replaced by the limitless potential of natural resources. His ambitious view of the future was not confined to harnessing the Earth's magnetic field, but extended to all forms of renewable energy. Tesla imagined a world where wind, sun, and water were harnessed to generate electricity. He dreamed of wind turbines that could capture the power of the breeze, solar panels that could absorb the sun's energy, and hydroelectric systems that could utilize the power of flowing water. Each of these sources, Tesla believed, held a piece of the solution for a sustainable future. More than just energy sources, Tesla saw these natural forces as means to unify the world. In his vision, free and abundant energy would erase economic disparities and bring people together. With everyone having access to the power they needed, societal divisions could be bridged and a more harmonious world could be born. Tesla's vision was groundbreaking for his time. It challenged the dominance of fossil fuels and pointed towards a more sustainable, equitable future. While his ideas were considered radical and impractical by some, Tesla's belief in the potential of renewable energy was unwavering. Tesla's dream of an electrified future powered by natural resources was far ahead of his time. Yet, as we look at our world today, we see his vision becoming a reality. Wind turbines dot our landscapes, solar panels adorn our rooftops, and hydroelectric plants power our cities. Tesla's dream lives on, guiding us towards a future where energy is clean, renewable, and accessible to all. His vision continues to inspire us, reminding us of the power of dreaming beyond the boundaries of the present. Despite Tesla's brilliant ideas and groundbreaking concepts, he often found himself on the receiving end of skepticism and dismissal from the scientific community. His theories about harnessing the Earth's magnetic field and other natural resources for energy were viewed by many as too radical, too far removed from the scientific reality of the day. Tesla's contemporaries were steeped in a world powered by coal and oil. The idea of replacing these reliable, tangible resources with something as ethereal as the Earth's magnetic field or as variable as the wind and sun seemed unrealistic, even foolish. Tesla was hurt by this rejection. He yearned for understanding and acceptance from his peers, for them to see the potential and promise that he saw. But he was met with resistance and dismissal, his innovative ideas deemed too unconventional, too ambitious. Yet, Tesla did not let this rejection break him. It stung, but it did not deter him from his path. Tesla understood that his ideas were ahead of their time, that they challenged the status quo. He held on to his beliefs, buoyed by his unwavering faith and the potential of natural resources to power the world. The rejection from the scientific community was a painful chapter in Tesla's life. It added to his isolation and fueled his reputation as a mad scientist. But it also highlighted his remarkable resilience. Despite the skepticism and dismissal, Tesla persevered. He continued to dream to invent, to push the boundaries of what was considered possible. Even though Tesla did not live to see his vision fully realized, his resilience amidst rejection left an enduring legacy. His belief in a future powered by renewable energy continues to inspire scientists and dreamers, 
reminding us of the power of holding on to our vision, even in the face of adversity. Tesla's journey serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of invention and the courage to dream beyond the boundaries of our time. Chapter 9. Lighting the Skies In 1899, Tesla embarked on a series of experiments that would further cement his legacy as a true visionary. Moving to Colorado Springs, he set up a laboratory in the isolated region, the perfect place for his daring electrical experiments. One of Tesla's main objectives in Colorado was to test his theories about the Earth's electrical charge. He wanted to investigate whether the Earth could be used as a conductor, allowing for the wireless transmission of electrical energy. With these experiments, he aimed to further his dream of providing free, wireless electricity to the world. Tesla's experiments in Colorado were audacious and visually stunning. Using a giant coil, Tesla produced artificial lightning with bolts of electricity arching into the sky. These experiments resulted in spectacular light displays that lit up the night sky, attracting attention from miles around. These flashes of light were not just a visual spectacle, but a manifestation of Tesla's genius. The experiments were a testament to his understanding of electricity and his skill as an inventor. They were also a vivid demonstration of his larger vision of harnessing nature's forces for the benefit of humanity. While in Colorado, Tesla made several significant discoveries. He observed natural lightning and found evidence to support his theory of Earth's natural electrical charge. He also made progress in his work on wireless transmission of electrical energy, though he was still a long way from realizing his dream of global wireless power. The Colorado Springs experiments were a significant chapter in Tesla's life. They showcased his inventive spirit, his tenacity, and his willingness to push the boundaries of science. They also served to fuel his reputation as a mad scientist, his spectacular light displays sparking both awe and apprehension. Through these experiments, Tesla continued his quest to unlock the secrets of electricity and fulfill his dream of an electrified future. His time in Colorado, marked by sparks and spectacle, was a testament to his unwavering commitment to his vision and his extraordinary capacity to dream beyond the known boundaries of science. Among the many intriguing events that unfolded in Tesla's Colorado Springs lab, one stands out for its audacity and its hint of the extraordinary. During his experiments, Tesla reported receiving what he believed might be signals from another planet. This incident sparked both intense excitement and deep skepticism. While conducting his regular wireless transmission experiments one night, Tesla noticed unusual whether or not Tesla truly received signals from another planet. His audacious assertion continues to captivate our imaginations. It embodies the spirit of exploration and discovery that defined his life, reminding us that the universe is full of mysteries, waiting to be unraveled by those daring enough to dream. Tesla's claim of receiving extraterrestrial signals sent shockwaves through the scientific community and the public. While some were intrigued by the possibility, many were skeptical. The idea of communicating with intelligent life beyond Earth was an extraordinary claim, and extraordinary claims required extraordinary evidence. Many of Tesla's contemporaries found it hard to believe that he had received signals from another planet. Scientists argued that Tesla had likely misinterpreted natural radio wave phenomena, such as those caused by solar flares or atmospheric disturbances. These voices of skepticism grew louder, casting a shadow of doubt over Tesla's claims. This skepticism strained Tesla's credibility. Already known for his ambitious ideas and audacious experiments, this incident fueled his reputation as an eccentric, even a mad scientist. Some began to question Tesla's other work. 
wondering if his grand visions of wireless power and other inventions were as credible as he claimed. The pushback from the scientific community was a blow to Tesla. He had dedicated his life to understanding the mysteries of electricity and hoped to share his discoveries for the benefit of humanity. To have his claims doubted and his credibility questioned was disheartening. Yet, Tesla remained undeterred. He knew that his ideas were often ahead of their time, that they challenged established norms and were bound to invite skepticism. He held on to his belief in his work and continued his research with unwavering commitment. The skepticism and disbelief Tesla faced serve as a reminder of the challenges that often accompany groundbreaking ideas. They highlight the tension between possibility and skepticism, between visionaries who dare to dream beyond known boundaries and a world that is often slow to accept new ideas. Despite the pushback, Tesla's spirit remained unbroken, his vision undimmed. He continued to reach for the stars, pushing the boundaries of science and our understanding of the universe. Chapter 10. Clash of Titans The rivalry between Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison is one of the most famous feuds in the history of science and technology. Their clash, known as the War of the Currents, was not just a personal disagreement, but a battle over the future of electrical power. In one corner was Thomas Edison, the celebrated American inventor and proponent of direct current, DC. In the other was Nikola Tesla, the visionary scientist and advocate for alternating current, AC. Their contrasting views on the best method for transmitting electricity set the stage for a tense and heated rivalry. The feud intensified as Tesla began to make headway with his AC system. His success with the Tesla Electric Company and his breakthrough demonstration at the Chicago World's Fair challenged Edison's dominance in the electricity market. As the benefits of AC, such as its capacity for long-distance transmission, became more apparent Edison found his DC system increasingly under threat. Edison, feeling the pressure, launched a campaign to discredit Tesla's AC system. He sought to depict AC as dangerous, staging public demonstrations where he used AC to electrocute animals. These displays were a bid to sway public opinion against Tesla and preserve the dominance of his DC system. These tactics deepened the animosity between Tesla and Edison. What began as a professional disagreement over technological preferences had escalated into a bitter personal rivalry. Despite the mounting tension, Tesla remained focused on his work, driven by his belief in the superiority of his AC system. The intensifying rivalry between Tesla and Edison was more than a clash of individuals. It was a defining battle that would shape the future of electricity. Their contrasting visions, symbolized by AC and DC, marked a crucial turning point in the history of technology. Despite the personal animosity, this rivalry spurred both inventors to new heights of innovation, leaving a lasting impact on the world of electrical power. The War of the Currents was a fierce competition, a battle that decided the future course of electrical power. On one side stood Thomas Edison, steadfast in his support for direct current, DCC. On the other side was Nikola Tesla, with George Westinghouse as his financial backer, championing the potential of alternating current, AC. Edison's DC systems were already powering many homes and factories. He had a vested interest in ensuring the dominance of DC. However, DC had significant limitations. It was unable to transmit power over long distances without significant power loss and required numerous power plants to be effective. Tesla's AC, on the other hand, had the potential to change the game. It could be transmitted over long distances with less power loss, 
making it more efficient and cost-effective. This made AC the more practical choice for widespread electricity distribution. The battle between AC and DC was not just about technical specifications. It was a struggle for influence, power, and control over the burgeoning electrical industry. Edison launched a smear campaign to depict AC as deadly, even publicly electrocuting animals with AC to prove its supposed danger. Tesla responded to Edison's fear campaign not with similar tactics, but with demonstrations of AC's safety and efficiency. His crowning achievement came during the Chicago World's Fair in 1893, where he illuminated the entire fairground with AC power, a testament to AC's potential. Despite the intense competition and personal animosity, the War of the Currents resulted in significant advancements in the field of electrical power. It was a period of rapid innovation and technological progress, driven by the rivalry between two of the most brilliant minds of the time. The war ultimately concluded with AC becoming the standard for electricity generation, a victory that affirmed Tesla's belief in the potential of his ideas. Yet, the echoes of this clash still reverberate through the annals of scientific history, a testament to a time when two titans vied for the electrified future. The climax of the War of the Currents came with a project that would shape the future of electricity generation, the harnessing of the power of Niagara Falls. In the early 1890s, a group of industrialists and inventors set out to generate electricity from the falls. This was an ambitious project, one that could revolutionize power generation and firmly establish the superiority of either AC or DC. Edison bid for the project, hoping to use it as a platform to showcase the potential of his DC system. But Tesla and Westinghouse were also in the running, championing the advantages of AC. The decision was momentous, and it swung in Tesla's favor. Tesla's AC system was chosen to power the Niagara Falls project. This was a massive victory for Tesla and a significant blow to Edison. The selection of AC affirmed its efficiency, practicality, and safety, effectively ending the War of the Currents. The Niagara Falls power project was a resounding success. When it began operation in 1895, it was able to transmit electricity over 20 miles to the city of Buffalo, New York. This was a feat never achieved before, and it firmly established the dominance of AC in the realm of power transmission. Tesla's victory at Niagara was a vindication of his vision and a testament to the superiority of his AC system. It marked the end of a fierce rivalry and the beginning of a new era of electricity generation. The War of the Currents was over, and Tesla's AC had emerged victorious. The future was electrified, and it was alternating current that was lighting the way. Chapter 11 Shadow of Solitude Behind the brilliant inventor and visionary, Nikola Tesla was a deeply private and introverted individual. He shied away from the social limelight, preferring the company of his work and his thoughts to large gatherings or public appearances. This reclusive nature played a significant role in shaping Tesla's personal life and professional relationships. Tesla's preference for solitude stemmed from his incredibly focused mind. He often immersed himself in his work, spending long hours in his laboratory, lost in his experiments and inventions. He preferred this quiet solitude, finding in it the space to think, create, and innovate. While his introverted nature allowed him to delve deeply into his work, it also created a barrier between Tesla and the world around him. He had few close friends and largely abstained from the social obligations that were common among men of his stature. This often led to him being misunderstood, labeled as eccentric, or even odd. Tesla's introversion also impacted his professional relationships. 
He was not known for building strong partnerships, often working alone or with a small group of assistants. His relationship with his financiers was strictly professional, often strained due to his single-minded focus on his work and relative disinterest in financial matters. Despite his introverted nature, Tesla was a passionate and articulate advocate for his ideas. He was known for his eloquent speeches and writings, through which he shared his visions and theories. But once off the stage, he would retreat back into his shell, back to the comfort of his solitary world. While Tesla's reclusive nature might have isolated him from societal interactions, it was a significant part of his genius. It allowed him the space and freedom to think beyond the ordinary, to dream beyond the known, and to create the extraordinary inventions that would light up the world. His solitude, much like his inventions, was a testament to his unique character, a shadow that marked his life as distinctly as his works lit up the world. Tesla's decision to dedicate his life to science meant making considerable personal sacrifices. One of the most poignant of these was his choice to forego love and marriage. While his contemporaries settled into family life, Tesla remained a bachelor, convinced that personal relationships would distract him from his scientific pursuits. It's believed that Tesla did experience love, at least once in his life. He reportedly fell for a woman named Katherine Johnson, the wife of his friend Robert Underwood Johnson. Tesla and Catherine shared a deep intellectual connection, often exchanging ideas and engaging in stimulating discussions. However, Tesla never acted on his feelings. He understood the implications of such a relationship, especially considering Catherine was already married. So he cherished their friendship, content with the intellectual companionship they offered each other. The choice to forego romantic relationships was not an easy one for Tesla. He had to wrestle with natural human desires for companionship and affection. Yet, he remained resolute, firmly believing that his work required his undivided attention. This choice highlighted the depth of Tesla's dedication to his work, but it also cast a poignant shadow of loneliness on his life. Tesla's love for his work was so profound that it outweighed his need for personal relationships. This decision marked his life with a touch of melancholy, a heartache born of unrequited love and self-imposed solitude. Yet, despite this, Tesla found fulfillment in his work, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to light up the world long after his time. His life serves as a testament to the power of passion and the sacrifices one may make in its pursuit. In addition to his many scientific achievements, Tesla also waged quiet battles against his own psychological challenges. His intense focus and relentless drive were traits that made him a great inventor, but they were also signs of underlying struggles that only those close to him observed. One of Tesla's most notable quirks was his obsessive-compulsive behavior. He had a compulsion for the number three and would often perform actions in sets of three. He had an intense aversion to pearls, to the point where he would refuse to speak to women wearing pearl jewelry. He had a habit of calculating the cubic volume of his food before eating and was meticulous about the cleanliness of his dining utensils. In addition to these behaviors, Tesla had a significant fear of germs. He would wash his hands frequently and was known to use 18 napkins to clean his dining area before eating. This fear of germs and obsession with cleanliness were early signs of what we now recognize as obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD. These psychological struggles remained largely hidden from the public eye. Yet, they played a significant role in shaping Tesla's life and work. They added to his reputation as a mad scientist and further isolated him from societal norms. However, they also provided a unique perspective from which he viewed the world. His obsession with numbers and volumes, for example, 
could have influenced his ability to visualize complex scientific concepts, contributing to his genius. Despite these silent battles, Tesla remained dedicated to his work. His psychological struggles were part of his journey, a testament to the personal battles often fought in the pursuit of greatness. Through his story, we learn that genius and struggle can exist side by side, each leaving their mark on a life dedicated to pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Chapter 12. Science as Art To most people, science is a realm of facts and figures, of theories and experiments. But to Nikola Tesla, science was more than just a quest for knowledge. It was a form of art. His inventions were not merely utilitarian constructs, but beautiful creations that spoke to the harmony and rhythm of the universe. This view of science as art is perhaps most evident in Tesla's work with alternating current, AC. To him, AC was not just a method for transmitting electricity, but a symphony of waves, a dance of positive and negative charges that brought light and power to the world. Tesla saw the alternating pattern of AC, the ebb and flow of electrical charge, as a kind of music. It was a rhythm that mirrored the natural rhythms of the universe, from the rising and setting of the sun to the ebb and flow of tides. He believed that this inherent harmony made AC not only efficient but beautiful. To Tesla, the beauty of AC was not merely in its rhythmic pattern, but also in its potential. He marveled at the ability of AC to transmit power over vast distances, lighting up homes and cities and bringing progress and comfort to millions. This transformative power added another layer of beauty to AC, making it not just a scientific invention, but a work of art that could change the world. Tesla's view of science as art underscores his unique approach to invention. His work was driven not just by a desire to solve problems or improve technology, but by a deep sense of wonder and appreciation for the inherent beauty of the universe. It was this perspective that fueled his creativity and enabled him to see possibilities that others missed. The symphony of alternating current is a testament to Tesla's artistic vision. It serves as a reminder that science and art are not separate realms, but intertwined facets of our quest to understand and appreciate the world around us. Tesla's life and work inspire us to see the beauty in science, to marvel at the harmony of the universe, and to celebrate the artistry that lies at the heart of invention. Beyond his role as an inventor, Tesla was also a poet of physics, a philosopher of science. His insights and ideas extended beyond the realm of electricity and magnetism, delving into the nature of the universe and humanity's place within it. Tesla saw the universe as a harmonious entity, a grand symphony of energy and matter. He believed that everything in the universe was interconnected that all matter was essentially a manifestation of energy. This understanding of the universe had a profound influence on Tesla's work, inspiring his vision of wireless power and his relentless pursuit of scientific discoveries. Tesla's philosophy also touched on the nature of humanity and our place in the universe. He believed that humans were not separate from the universe, but an integral part of it. We were, in his view, vessels of energy, capable of great things. He often mused on the potential of humanity, envisioning a future where science and technology would elevate society, eliminating poverty and inequality. He dreamt of a world powered by free, renewable energy, where the wonders of science would be accessible to all. Tesla's poetic, and philosophical musings were not just idle thoughts, but the driving force behind his work. They shaped his approach to invention, infusing his scientific work with a sense of wonder and a deep appreciation for the beauty of the universe. These musings were also a reflection of Tesla's unique character, his ability to see beyond the immediate, to dream beyond the known, 
was a testament to his visionary spirit. His poetic reflections on the universe and humanity serve as a reminder of the profound impact that a single imaginative mind can have on the world. Nikola Tesla, the poet of physics, continues to inspire us. His vision of a harmonious universe and an elevated humanity challenge us to look beyond our immediate surroundings, to dream big, and to strive for a better, more enlightened world. Tesla's inventions were not only groundbreaking in terms of their scientific and technological implications, but were also strikingly aesthetic. His aesthetic vision, as potent as his technical prowess, played a significant role in his creative process. From the graceful curvature of a Tesla coil to the hypnotic dance of electricity, Tesla's inventions bore the mark of an artist. He understood that the design of a device could enhance its functionality and its appeal. He paid attention to the form of his creations, as well as their function, marrying beauty and utility in his designs. Tesla's aesthetic sensibilities were evident in his laboratories, too. They were more than mere workplaces. They were stages where he could demonstrate the beauty and power of his inventions. The images of Tesla sitting in his laboratory, surrounded by the ethereal glow of electric arcs, are a testament to his flair for dramatic presentations. Tesla's focus on aesthetics was not just about appearances. He believed that beauty was an integral aspect of understanding the universe. He saw the laws of physics not merely as dry, mathematical formulas, but as elegant expressions of the universe's fundamental truths. This aesthetic approach to innovation also played a role in Tesla's ability to captivate the public. His demonstrations were grand spectacles, combining science and drama in a way that made his inventions accessible and fascinating to the public. In many ways, Tesla was as much an artist as he was a scientist. His aesthetic vision guided his technical innovations, adding an element of beauty to the pursuit of science. His ability to see and create beauty in the realm of science was a key aspect of his genius. Tesla's belief in the aesthetics of innovation serves as a reminder that science and art are intertwined. It highlights the importance of creativity and imagination in the pursuit of knowledge, encouraging us to appreciate the beauty in our quest to understand the universe. Chapter 13. Invention of the Century Among the many inventions and discoveries attributed to Tesla, his work on wireless transmission stands out as one of the most transformative. It not only revolutionized the field of communication, but also laid the foundation for many of the technological advancements we now take for granted. Tesla's journey into wireless transmission began with his invention of the Tesla coil. This high-frequency transformer was a marvel in its own right, creating impressive displays of sparking electricity. However, it was the coil's ability to transmit electricity without wires that truly captured Tesla's imagination. Building on this concept, Tesla conducted a series of experiments striving to perfect the wireless transmission of energy. His grandest experiment took place in Colorado Springs, where he constructed a giant coil capable of creating enormous electrical discharges. Here, Tesla claimed to have successfully transmitted electrical energy without wires over significant distances, a groundbreaking achievement that still stirs debate among scientists. Despite the controversial nature of his experiments, Tesla's work with wireless transmission was visionary. He dreamt of a world where information and power could be transmitted without the need for cables, envisioning the potential of wireless technology long before others recognized its possibilities. Tesla's pioneering work laid the groundwork for many of the wireless technologies we use today. From radio and television to Wi-Fi and cellular communication, the principles Tesla explored in his wireless experiments are at the core of these technologies. 
His work in wireless transmission was indeed an invention of the century, a testament to his genius and his vision of the future. While Tesla's dream of worldwide wireless power transmission remains unrealized, his innovative spirit continues to inspire. His vision of a wirelessly connected world has largely come true, transforming the way we communicate, work, and live. It stands as a testament to Tesla's belief in the boundless potential of science and technology, inspiring us to push the boundaries of what is possible. While Tesla's genius was undeniable, his inventions and discoveries often sparked controversy, particularly around issues of patents and intellectual property. The most notable of these was the long-standing dispute with Guglielmo Marconi over the invention of radio. Tesla's work on wireless transmission in the late 1890s laid the groundwork for the invention of radio. He developed several devices that could transmit and receive radio waves, applying for patents to protect his inventions. However, Marconi, an Italian inventor, was also working on wireless transmission around the same time. Marconi's early designs were simple and unable to transmit over long distances, but with every experiment, he made steady improvements to his devices. In 1901, Marconi achieved a significant milestone by successfully transmitting a radio signal across the Atlantic Ocean. This feat brought him worldwide fame and recognition as the inventor of radio. Marconi was even awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1909 for his work in wireless telegraphy. However, Tesla claimed that Marconi was using 17 of his, Tesla's, patents. Tesla's financial circumstances at the time prevented him from taking legal action against Marconi, and the issue was largely forgotten. It wasn't until several years after Tesla's death, in 1943, that the United States Supreme Court upheld Tesla's radio patents. The court acknowledged that Tesla's work had preceded Marconi's, effectively recognizing Tesla as the rightful inventor of radio. The story of the radio patent controversy highlights the challenges Tesla faced in gaining recognition for his work. It reveals the often complex nature of scientific invention, where ideas and innovations intersect, and the struggle to protect one's intellectual property. But through it all, Tesla's pioneering spirit remained undimmed, his contributions to science and technology undeniable, and his legacy enduring. Tesla's life was a testament to unyielding dedication to scientific discovery. However, many of his revolutionary ideas and inventions did not receive the recognition they deserved during his lifetime. It was only after his death that Tesla began to receive the recognition that had eluded him for so long. One of the most significant of these posthumous victories was the recognition of Tesla as the true inventor of the radio. In 1943, the United States Supreme Court made a landmark decision overturning Marconi's patent for the invention of radio. The court acknowledged that Tesla's patents had predated Marconi's and that Marconi's radio design had incorporated Tesla's ideas. This decision came too late for Tesla to witness, but it marked a significant shift in the recognition of Tesla's contributions. It was a posthumous triumph, a belated acknowledgement of Tesla's genius and his rightful place in the annals of scientific history. Despite the years of neglect and the many challenges he faced, Tesla's legacy endured. His ideas and inventions, once dismissed as too radical, too visionary, became the foundations of our modern world. The belated recognition of Tesla as the true inventor of the radio served as a reminder of Tesla's forward-thinking genius and the transformative power of his inventions. Tesla's posthumous triumph is a testament to the enduring power of innovation. It reminds us that true genius can never be suppressed, that the impact of revolutionary ideas 
persists beyond the limitations of time and recognition. Tesla's journey, from obscurity to recognition, from ridicule to reverence, is a testament to the indomitable spirit of invention, an enduring source of inspiration for generations to come. Chapter 14. The Genius of the Shadows. Tesla's final years were a stark contrast to his earlier life of innovation and discovery. The man who had once captured the world's imagination with his revolutionary inventions and spectacular demonstrations, who had dreamt of lighting up the world, spent his last years in relative obscurity and poverty. After the failure of his ambitious Wardenclyffe project, Tesla's financial situation deteriorated. He struggled to secure funding for his experiments and was often in debt. His eccentric behavior and fantastical claims about his inventions did not help his cause, often alienating potential investors. Despite his financial struggles, Tesla continued to invent, to dream, and to hope. He worked on various projects, including plans for a death ray that could end wars, a machine that could harness the power of the Earth's vibrations, and new methods of wireless transmission. However, many of these projects never progressed beyond the conceptual stage due to lack of funding. Tesla spent the last ten years of his life in a series of hotel rooms, moving from one to another as he fell behind on his bills. He was often seen feeding pigeons in the park, a solitary figure far removed from the vibrant inventor he once was. Tesla died alone in his hotel room on January 7, 1943. The news of his death brought a renewed interest in his work, but the recognition came too late for Tesla to witness. Tesla's lonely final years are a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by many inventors and visionaries. His story underscores the sometimes harsh reality of pursuing groundbreaking ideas, of daring to dream beyond the known. Yet, in spite of his struggles, Tesla's legacy endures, his inventions continue to light up our world, and his spirit of innovation continues to inspire. The mystery of Tesla's lost papers is one of the most tantalizing aspects of his story. Tesla was known to have kept detailed notes and sketches of his experiments and ideas, many of which never materialized into actual inventions. When he died, these papers, potentially holding secrets of unrealized innovations, vanished, sparking intrigue and speculation that persists to this day. When Tesla died in 1943, his belongings, including his scientific papers, were seized by the Office of Alien Property, as he was a naturalized American citizen born in what was then the Austrian Empire. However, when his papers were eventually returned to his family, many reportedly appeared to be missing. These lost papers are rumored to contain plans for numerous innovative devices, including Tesla's death ray or teleforce weapon, an earth vibration machine, and advanced designs for wireless transmission of energy. The exact contents remain unknown, adding to the aura of mystery. Tesla's lost papers continue to captivate inventors, historians, and conspiracy theorists alike. The potential they hold, the secrets they might reveal about Tesla's unexplored ideas and unfulfilled dreams fuels their allure. They symbolize the enigmatic side of Tesla, the genius of the shadows, whose full potential was only partially realized in his lifetime. While we may never know what exactly the lost papers contained, their story serves as a reminder of Tesla's boundless imagination. It underscores the potential of the human mind to dream, to create, and to reach for the unknown. It leaves us wondering about the innovations that could have been and inspires us to continue pushing the boundaries of possibility. While Tesla's life was marked by both spectacular success and heartbreaking struggle, his legacy transcends his personal trials. Today, we live in a world that his genius helped to shape. From the alternating current that powers our homes and cities 
to the wireless technology that underpins our communication systems, Tesla's inventions are integral to our modern life. His revolutionary ideas and discoveries laid the groundwork for advancements that continue to transform our world. Yet, Tesla's legacy is not just about the inventions he left behind. It's also about the spirit of innovation he embodied, the audacity to challenge established norms, and the courage to dream beyond the known. Tesla was a man ahead of his time, a visionary who dared to envision a future far more advanced than the world he lived in. Even in the realm of sustainable energy, a challenge we continue to grapple with today, Tesla was a pioneer. His dream of harnessing renewable sources of energy and his experiments in wireless power transmission presage our ongoing efforts towards a sustainable future. In many ways, Tesla's legacy is an inspiration. It challenges us to question, to innovate, to dream. It reminds us that the quest for knowledge is a journey full of hurdles and setbacks, but the potential for discovery and progress makes the journey worthwhile. As we look around at the world that Tesla helped to create, we are reminded of the power of one individual's vision and determination. We see the echoes of his genius in the technology that surrounds us, in the devices that make our lives easier, and in the systems that connect us across the globe. Nikola Tesla, the genius of the shadows, left an indelible mark on our world. His life is a testament to the power of human creativity and the enduring impact of innovation. His legacy continues to light up our world, a beacon of inspiration that guides us towards the future.